Hello, welcome to my tech fam. Let's talk about flexible filaments. Few months ago, I asked other 3D printing YouTubers to present some functional parts made by 3D printing, and now similar question, but with the flexible filament. Usually this is TPU, but now we have PBA. TPU is usually uh, rated by the hardness. There are softer TPUs with the great elasticity, but I usually use them when I need more friction, for example. But they are also harder TPU filaments, uh, and their advantage is actually uh, impact and uh, wear resistance. PIBA, I think it's mostly for elasticity. I have three brands here waiting for the testing video soon. Polymaker is the channel sponsor, and I will include a link to one of their TPU filaments. And now let's see those functional parts. I asked almost 100 YouTubers, and I got a replay from approximately 10%. And they will be marked as a collaboration. This is some new function from the YouTube. This means you can subscribe directly to their channels too. They will be presented in arriving order and the fastest was Michael from Teaching Tech. G'day, this is Michael from Teaching Tech and just this week I completed a little practical project made from TPU. These are our brother and sister miniature schnauzers. They eat a quarter of this each day, which means struggling with film to try and seal it in the fridge. To fix this, I took some measurements, molded off a lid in on shape, loaded up some 95A TPU and printed on the Snapmaker U1. To use it, we push the spoon through the opening and then put it the whole way down, clamping it onto the top of the can. The flaps give a nice seal and the little boss makes removal quite easy. Job done, so now I've earned a reward. Hey Igor, how's it going? So my favorite functional TPU print has got to be this one. It's a water bottle koozie, but it has a special story because my son came up with the idea. So the story goes that I bought my two boys uh, some nice water bottles, but they're always destroying their water bottles and dropping them and then they get cracked or chipped or dented and they get bummed and I get bummed. And so I was designing kind of a TPU sleeve to protect the water bottle and my son looked at it. And he was like, dad, what if my water bottle was a rocket ship? And I was like, that's a really cool idea. So I designed these slide in TPU fins that go on it and they come off if you need to put the water bottle in the backpack and it needs to be more compact or put it in the car cup holder. Uh, but also when you drop the water bottle, it protects it even more, which I just think is so cool. This is printed in two different colors of Polymaker TPU. This is probably my favorite functional print because it was my little boy's idea, but I just think it's such a clever use of TPU and the water bottle under it is pristine. So uh, thanks for including me. I'm James from Cloud42 and my favorite things I have ever printed in TPU bar none are these bellows for my CNC milling machine. Now I printed these on the Bamboo Lab H2D out of this material. This is called FiberFlex CF. And this is a 90A TPU with carbon fiber added. Now the carbon fiber makes the material a little bit more rigid, but it also makes it a lot tougher and more cut resistant. And so far, it's standing up really well in this application. Now I got the idea for printing expanding bellows from Rich at Functional Print Friday. He produced a video showing how to print these laying flat on the bed with layers of PLA in between as support material that you could peel out, leaving a nice expanding bellows structure. Now I found that PETG works a lot better as a support material for this carbon fiber TPU. It sticks better and it still peels away cleanly and leaves a nice surface finish. Now the best part of this whole story is that I was talking to Uchel at Woods Creek Workshop about maybe designing and printing some bellows for his Cincinnati tool and cutter grinder that he's restoring. And he discovered that somebody already did it. You can go out on eBay today and you can buy bellows for the Cincinnati number no. two tool and cutter grinder printed out of this material using this technique. I reached out to the seller, he saw Rich's video, he saw my video, and he put it to use. And I think that is fantastic. So take this idea and do something awesome. And here's a bonus idea. Try printing Gridfinity trays for your tools out of TPU. The Gridfinity tray design prints just fine in TPU. The soft surface protects your tools and they don't make as much noise because they don't rattle around when you open and close the drawers. Hi Igor, my name is Jan from Roots 4.0 and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite TPU print, which is this floppy little fella here. 
So apart from my YouTube endeavors, I do a lot of work for all sorts of industry applications. In this particular example, I develop a fixture that helps to marry canvases and frames together without heavily relying on your forearms and taking a lot of stress from the workers that do it. For the first couple of years, I was using this material, which is a natural rubber for the gripping jaws. And the way I applied them was to basically cut down a strip, super glue them on here, and then use this ultrasonic knife to make the cutouts, which was not only time consuming, but also quite dangerous. For the last year, however, I was replacing them with a solid TPU printed part. This allows me to have all the design freedom I want. And on top of that, this lasts longer than the natural rubber, which literally costs 20 cents to make. Hey, this is Jan from Jantech Engineering and my favorite functional 3D print from TPU is this bellows designed by Functional Print Friday. It can be used as a dust protector, for instance on a CNC machine. Mine is printed from FiberLogy FiberFlex 40D using PLA supports on my Prosa XL and I'm currently trying to design my own smaller version for my tensile testing machine. Hey guys, Rich here from the YouTube channel Functional Print Friday. And I've got one of my favorite TPU prints on the bench to share with you guys. This is a case that I designed for this set of micro hex drivers. It's got magnetic closure for the flap and each individual pocket for the drivers, you can see actually has pleats on the side. It opens up, even though this is all printed flat. I did this on the Bamboo Lab H2D using the second nozzle for PLA as the support material underneath those pleats using the same methodology that I prototyped for these print flat bellows. What's going on everybody? Fetter here from 3D Print SOS. And one of the things I love to do on this channel is to watch these 3D printers evolve and just get better with time. But it's not just them that are getting better, the materials are also getting better. And that's really, really cool. One of which is TPU. I've definitely printed my fair share of TPU in my day, but there's some really cool stuff that's coming out now. For example, this stuff I used recently, this is called TPU Aero. Uh, there's two manufacturers that I used on this project, both Sariatech and Chidi Tech. Um, um, and they have this foaming stuff that's just incredible. And the cool thing about this is you can control its density just by switching the temperature and the speed because this stuff foams as it comes out of the nozzle. And as you can see, you can really make some awesome functional stuff with this material. And the other material that I wanna talk about is also called PIBA. And this stuff I'm sure you've seen around, especially when it comes to these basketballs. A lot of people print these, and that's because it's just incredible stuff. The fact that these can bounce almost as high as a real basketball, even on carpeting, like down here, is incredible. Especially when you go to show somebody that you 3D printed this and it looks like a freaking product. It's really amazing stuff. This is stuff by Simbatron, and they have two uh, hardnesses actually. So the bouncy stuff is 90, but they also have 85A. And 85A is super, super soft, and it feels literally indestructible. So definitely check this stuff out. Thanks, Igor. Later. What's up, JJ here. I use functional 3D prints every single day. This on the base of my water bottle is a TPU little bumper. This is a metal water bottle, and I do like it that it keeps things cold and hot, but I don't like how it clangs when it hits tables and stuff like that. So this is a TPU base on the bottom here. It keeps the bottom free from scuffs, and it's a lot quieter when picking it up and setting it down on hard surfaces. It's just a simple TPU friction fit on the bottom here, but it's really functional, and I use it every single day. My name is Mick with the 3D Printing Zone and we love printing flexible filament. We've printed everything from these tennis balls to a basketball. We even printed a soccer ball. One of my favorite things we've printed on the H2D are these shoes. They came out looking so good. One thing that was crucial in this print was the fact that we used PLA for the support and flexible filament for the shoes. Having a more rigid support helped the structure of the shoes and it came off so clean. There are so many different applications you can use with flexible filament and we love it. Hi Igor, thanks for including us. We're Gergo Print 3D, an uncle and nephew duo sharing our 3D printing adventures. We keep our sensitive filament in vacuum bags like many others, but we were tired of hauling out the big vacuum just to seal them. The solution was this dual material adapter we printed for our tiny Hotto air pump. The challenge was that TPU alone was too soft for the connector. 
so we got clever. This was printed in the little Sovo Zero, starting with GTAC Padgy for a more rigid base. Then we switched to flexible GTAC TPU for a soft airtight tip. The two bond together really well. Not sure about the rating, this TPU feels softer than 95. Now we have the perfect tool for the job. If you enjoy seeing practical problems solved with 3D printing, come check out our channel, Gergo Print 3D. Hi, I'm Igor from My Tech Fun, and I want to show you my examples too. From software TPU like 85A, I like to print parts which have bigger friction, like these foots on this wearing test machine. Also, soft TPU is good as a bumper for this grill door. Harder TPU is good if you need impact and wear resistance. Two examples soft jobs for this vise and foot for this desk. Thank you all for your cooperation. And to viewers, don't forget you can subscribe directly to their channels too if they accepted my collaboration invitation. And which one was your favorite? <laughs> for me, the bellows was extremely useful information because recently I was buying some for my late machine and it was really hard to find the proper size I need. And it never came to my mind to just print some. And also I'm waiting your suggestions or ideas of what uh, you printed already from the TPU or PBA or other flexible material down in the comment section. Thank you for watching video until the end and happy printing.